My name is Howard Sauter. Uh, I've been living in the uh, Greyhawk community for a little over 20 years. I presently live in the uh, Raptor uh, community here. Uh, prior to that, I uh, lived at the village of Greyhawk. I am married. My wife's name is Geraldine. I have previously been the president of two homeowners associations. One, the Villa Valencia Homeowners Association in Central Phoenix, and the other, the Village at Greyhawk. I was the first president and took over the presidency while it was still in the hands of a, a developer. It was a very difficult job, especially as to the vendors and the developer and things left undone. And uh, so after a while, we uh, sold there and, and moved on to where we are now. I've been in Arizona since 1968 when I came here taking a job out of uh, college. Uh, remained living in the Phoenix area until uh, early 2000. My uh, background is as a police officer for many years, and then uh, as a private investigator, first for a law firm, and second for my own business, which began in 1970, and essentially uh, was involved in it until probably 2016. If you perceive that I was doing criminal investigation or domestic relations, that was not it. Uh, my job was to investigate accidents from slips on lettuce peels to airplane crashes. I am very good at probably problem solving and identifying those uh, problems. I guess that gives you a pretty good background on myself. I am the grandfather of a couple of grandsons, which are my primary interests, but I have a great interest in serving on the board here and serving this uh, community. Great. What, is you, what do you feel is the most important issue for the board in the next year? I, not having been on the board and not privy to problems that may be here, I would be hesitant to take a position that is critical of the board or the management company. So I will say this, that I think enforcement of CCNRs from my prior experience is always extremely important. I've always had a great interest in our amenities or my prior presidencies uh, in terms of the amenities that existed there. It is important that those amenities, tennis courts, swimming pools, whatever, be maintained. I have also had a great interest in common area improvements and their maintenance. When people come to buy your house, have an interest in this community, they don't get to see the inside of your house. The front of your house is always well maintained because the HOA is looking after that, supervising that. So a judgment is formed on whether to buy or want to live in this community based on how well the common area improvements are maintained. And in order to do this, one has to be very vigilant with the vendors and make sure that they deliver as promised by contract. In addition, board members or someone representative of the board needs to periodically go out and check these things and make sure uh, they are maintained. Perfect. What do you think that the association can do to help um, improve or maintain property values? I think that would go to uh, my former uh, answer. Mm -hmm. You can't tell a book by, cover, by its cover, but the reason for book covers is to sell books. So our cover is very important and I would be very attentive to that. In your opinion, in what areas does the Board of Directors need to improve? Oh, back 
to the original answer. I can't be critical of something until I'm there. My general impression is that this homeowners association is being run very well uh, by management, the management company, and by the board. And if I'm elected, I intend to identify problems that they exist and work with the board and management uh, to make sure that this is the community I want to live in, and therefore all of us. In what way do you think that you can enhance the board? My, my experience as a president, uh, especially with the village of Greyhawk, and all the significant problems we, we had there uh, with the developer, and making sure that the community became what was being sold as, as opposed to what was left as. And I'm not being super critical of the developer, but their goal was to develop a property, sell it and make as much money as they can. And my job was to make sure that they deliver what was promised. Would you repeat that a question too, because it'll bring something back to me that I also wanted to say. Um, in what way do you think you can enhance the board? All right, my whole life starting at 18 years old, in the Army as a military policeman and then as Army CID, and then becoming a San Diego police officer, and then becoming uh, an investigator for a very large and prominent law firm here, and then starting my own business in 1970, and working with governmental agencies as their, as their investigator, and working from, with people from all walks of life, and getting along with them, and accomplishing what my job was uh, couldn't qualify me better. And I'd like to add to that. It is very important that residents of this community are happy. And I don't mean only the ones that behave themselves and follow the CCNRs, but those who choose to act independently. Those people, when problems with them are identified, need to be understood and worked with diplomatically so that they're not left with a bad taste in their mouth as they continue to live here. Perfect. Do you think that you are capable of taking action that's beneficial to the community as a whole, even if you don't personally agree? Oh, yes. Uh, I certainly, if there was an issue, and there, I assume the board votes on issues, and I'm sure majority uh, will is, is, is if it's identified and it's contrary to my view, which would be a minority, I still, it would be the decision of the board and I certainly wouldn't go out into the community or my actions within the board wouldn't uh, cause me to act negatively. Perfect, well thank you so much. Oh, that was easy.